Today we will learn how to draw a ellipse using rectangle method. In rectangle method, we have to create the rectangle using the major and minor axis of the ellipse. Now, major axis will become the length of rectangle and minor axis will become the height of rectangle. So, we will create a rectangle first. So, this will be the length of rectangle that is major axis and height of rectangle will be a minor axis. We will create a rectangle first. Once we create a rectangle, we will divide the rectangle in four equal parts. Once we divide the rectangle, we will give names to the point. A to B is the major axis and C to D is the minor axis. This dimension is 100 mm, this dimension is 80 mm. Now, we will start with the construction. This is point A. Now, we will divide this line segment in equal division and with the same division we will divide this line also. Let us say in this particular, while solving this particular type, we have to divide this segment in at least 4 parts or uh, don't go more than 4 part that I would suggest. So we will divide this in equal 4 part. Now how to divide a line segment in equal division because if this is 120 mm, this half will be 60 mm and then we have to divide it in 4 part. Now it is easy that 15 mm each we can have. So 15 mm division we will have. And we will have 4 equal divisions of this line. Now we will mention this point as 1, 2 and 3. One point should be always closer to A. Similarly we will divide this into equal 4 parts. Now half is 40. So 10 mm each. These divisions should be equal. 1, 2 and 3. Now this one is also closer to A. So this is the key point of construction of ellipse. Now we are starting with the construction. Very first you join, join line C to 1. First line I have joined C to 1. Now to intersect this line we will construct line D to 1. And extend this line till it cut this line. So this will be point P1. Now join line C to 2. Then connect line D to 2. And extend this line till it cut to the line of 2. This is point 2. So we will extend it with the same angle. And here we are getting point P2. Now you join C to 3. And to cut this line we have D to 3. And you extend this line till it cut here. Now this will be point P3. Similarly, similarly, we will have the distance and we will cut this in equal 4 part. 1, 2, 3. Equal divisions. Now one point is again closer to A. Now we will join, in this construction we will join D to 1 first. And to intersect D to 1, we should have C to 1. And extend it. We will get P1. Now draw D to 2 and to cut this we will have C to 2 and extend it. So this will be point P2. Now D to 3, join C to 3 and extend it. So we will get point P3. Now same construction you can do here. I will show that. So we will divide this again with the same distance. We will divide it in equal 4 division. So one point will be here, 1, 2 and 3. We will divide this also in equal 4 divisions. So 1, 2 and 3 here. And we will divide 1, 2 and 3 here. You can repeat the same construction procedure like C to 1 we can join and D to 1 we can join. We will get P1, P2. Otherwise you can have one more method like uh, you can draw the horizontal line here from P1, P2, P3. And you can have this distance in the rounder and you can cut the arc so you will get P3. You can have this distance in the rounder and you can cut here you will get P2. You can have this distance of P1 in the rounder you can cut here so you will get P1 here. And similarly you can draw this P1, P2 and P3. You can 
draw so you will get p3 here you can draw a line here so you will get p2 here and you can draw one more line so that you will get p1 also here so number of rays are there once we get all p1 p2 p3 now this entire construction should be done with thin lines only it the construction should be visible to you only and the final curve should be drawn using french curve french curve means these are the point that now we have to join so locate the curves on the french curve in such a way that a smooth curve can be obtained now the curve should be drawn smoothly in this way don't rewrite or while making the curve you have to keep it in mind that p2 here we have p1 we'll get somewhere here p1 and uh, so we'll complete it here and we'll come like this so this curve is known as ellipse which dimensions are necessary to be given in exam is first is major axis 120 then minor axis these dimensions are important to be given in exam and you have to name the curve although it is asked or not but it is a good practice to name the curve in capital letter ellipse this is the way to draw the ellipses in rectangle method